Hello, dear students. How are you doing? Are you okay? Today, I'm going to teach you a very wonderful lesson. I'm going to teach you some English idioms. Did you know these English idioms? It's up to you to follow this lesson. This is a very wonderful lesson. You're going to get a lot of skills from the lesson. Please, before starting the lesson, allow me to give you our today's word, which is two-faced. Do you know the meaning of two-faced? Two-faced in Kinyarwanda means ichiru mirahaviri. Someone who is ichiru, mira, ichiru mirahaviri. Do you know that person? A two-faced person is a person who says bad things about you to others while seeming to be honest, to be frank when they are together with you. People who say bad things about you to others but they become frank or they are frank, they are honest, they are pleasant when they are together with you. Those people are two-faced. Abantu bakuvuga nabi yo bari mu bandi mutari kumwe. Ariko mwaba muri kumwe bakigira intungane inyanga mugayo bakakuvuga ameza. Ah? Abo bantu tubita cyangwa uwo muntu tumwita two-faced. Are you two-faced? Yumu na kuwa jengo, are you two-faced? Aba kuwa jengo, ese, urichiru mirahaviri? E, ese, umvuga nabi, yuri kumge nabandi? Wazuki, yobera nyuka, umvuga neza? Two-faced. For example, you can say, I don't love him because he is two-faced. Or, I don't love her because he is two-faced. A two-faced person is a very dangerous person. Two-faced person, nabgaru munu mngiza. Yes, two-faced. Please don't be two-faced. Don't be two-faced. Nice. Then English idioms. I am going to get started with the first English idiom, which is when pigs fly. When pigs fly. What does it mean in English? When you say when pigs fly. When pigs fly means something will never happen. There is no chance. For something to happen. When pigs fly. Ububuze ngo. Ibi jobjava ijihe ingurube zigurutsi. Urumba nawe ingurube ziri kuguruka. For example, you can say, uh, yes, he will pay you only when pigs fly. Aza kwishura ingurube ni ziguruka. Urumbi chojihe, he will never pay you that time. Icho jububugi yu uomunu ngwa kuri nzira kumurima kibi jobi nubitazawa. He will pay you only when pigs fly. Here you can say, I will go there only when pigs fly. That is only when pigs fly or when pigs fly. When pigs fly means never. When you say, I will go there only when pigs fly, this means that I will never go there. My friend, I will love you only when pigs fly. I will love you only, only when pigs fly. I will never love you in my life. Good. Then uh, number two here, we say I am broke. To be broke. When you are broke, you don't have money. When you have no money, that time you are broke. Kuba nani gicheru fite mumufuka to vugako uri broke. Oh, my friend, can you buy me something here? Ese wanguri Oh, please, my dear, I am broke today. I am broke today. Uyumusi nani gicheru fite nama faranga. I am broke these days. Muri misi nama faranga fite. I am broke. My dear student, if you want to learn English very well, Nibusha kui gicho njereza neza, dukurichire kuri WhatsApp tu guha masomo, kuishuri tu kuijishe, aho turi kuijishiriza ano kuishuri, chimirongo, kujezubu, ndetse tuna kuijishiriza hehe, kuri Zoom, ugure nibitabu, ukande subscribe. Ibjo bjo senu vijera ho, nubi vikora uzame nicho njereza neza chan. Nice. Uh, then to hit the sack. To hit the sack means to go to bed. Umunguna kugiro ti, uh, please, I'm getting tired. I'm very tired. It is getting late. Uh, let me hit the sack. I will see you tomorrow. Or see you tomorrow. 
this means that reka ngire nte reka ndyame nzakubonejo cyangwa se tuzongere tubona nejo let me hit the sack oh are you going to hit the sack umuntu akubaje ngo umuntu akubwiye ngo are you going to hit the sack abakubwiye ngo ese ugiye kuryama to hit the sack kujya kuryama kujya kugitanda oh let me hit the sack see you tomorrow reka ndyame reka nje kuryama tuzabonana ejo oh when do you hit the sack ugiye kujya kuryama ryari Oh teacher I hit the sack at 7 pm nje we ndyama samoya zijoro to hit the sack kuryama nice number four here we have a fish out of water oh my friend were you a fish out of water in that meeting to be a fish out of water that is what i'm going to explain ibi nibyo ngiye gusobanura if someone are a fish out of water they feel uncomfortable because they are in an unfamiliar situation if you feel uncomfortable because you are in an unfamiliar situation that time we call you a fish out of water a fish out of water to be a fish of out of water or to feel a fish out of water ni muri cya gihe uba biba byagucanze bitewe na situation urimo urugero wo uri mu cordon yabarakubwiye ngo uhindutse umujaji umucamanza kandi ntuzi ibintu by'amategeko that time you feel a fish out of water for example you can say that cobbler was a fish out, out of water after they obliged him to act as a judge in a court that doctor was a fish out of water after they obliged him to act as a judge in a court wa mukorodonie cobbler you know a cobbler a cobbler is someone who mends shoes umuntu ukora inkweto who repairs or who mends shoes that person is called a cobbler then you can say that cobbler was a fish out, out of water after they obliged him to act as a judge in a court eh wa mukorodonie yabaye nkifi ivuye mu mazi nkifi iri kugasozi murumva ifi ivuye mu mazi ikuntu ihitimera ha yes igihe bamubwiraga nyuma yuko bamubwiye ngo yacting cyangwa se abe umujaji mu rukiko abe umujaji abe umucamanza mu rukiko that time the cobbler became or felt a fish out of water after they obliged him to act as a judge in a court good even when you are a fish out of water in a situation for example let me give you an ex a, 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 a situation where you can become a fish out of water uri kumwe nabantu mutaziranye bo bari kuvuga icyongereza wowe wabuze uko bigenze that time you become a fish a fish out of water for example i was a fish out of water when i met people who were speaking english muye nabantu bari bari kuvuga icyongereza i was a fish out of water njewe nari nakonje nari nabaye nkifi ivuye mu mazi ifi ivuye mu mazi yes another another sentence that i can give you urundi rugero naguha for example ugeza hantu abandi baraziranye wowe ni wowe utazwi muri abo bantu bose icyo gihe uba wakonje gukonja kumva he ibyawe byakurangiranye kumva ufite ubwoba isoni ikimwaro kubera situation urimo that time cyangwa kuba ibintu bikunaniye kubisobanura cyangwa iki kubera kutabizi you become a fish out of water my friend as do you become a fish out of water sometimes in a, in a certain situation kuri situation runaka muri situation runaka ushobora kuba a fish out of water ibyo byaba ku muntu uwariwe wese then please what, this is what i have been teaching you ibyo nabigishaga uyu munsi pigs uh, when pigs fly bivuze ngo something will never happen never when pigs fly for example i will visit you only when pigs fly nzagusura gusa umunsi umwe mu gihe ingurube zagurutse I will visit you only when pigs fly. That is an expression of English. That is an idiom of English. We don't say idiom. Say idiom, okay? Then uh, the second one is I am broke. When you are broke, you don't have money that time. You have no money. When someone is broke, it means that they don't have money. Nice. Hit the sack. To hit the sack means to go to bed. Oh, please, it is getting dark. Burikwira, let me hit the sack. Reka ngire nte nje kuryama nice then a, a fish out of water no kuba wamanjiriwe byagucanze no kuba wakonje no kuba ibintu byakuyobeye bite no kutabimenyereye cyangwa utari kumwe nabantu umenyereye that time you are a fish out of water 
a fish out of water. Then, dear students, I really thank you so much for watching this lesson. I, and I would like to remind you of these three things. Try to come and learn English in three ways. WhatsApp. Dufite uburyo bwo kukwigisha icyongereza kandi neza kuri Zoom turakwigisha neza no mu ishuri turakwigisha neza try to subscribe to our channel gerageza ukande ko subscribe kugira ngo ubona amasomo yacu ikindi sharing sharing my dear ikindi wikwiga ya masomo ibice bice uraje wiza umuntu tumwe uri gendeye eh hari nabambira ngo inimero ni tuzibona kandi zibaziri munsi hamagara eh hamagara umbaze teacher bimeze bite ariko I am there to explain to you whatever you need, all details, every information. I'm there to give you every information you need to get. Nice. I am Teacher Jasper. We are together for the next lessons. Try to love pan edutainment. Bye-bye.